Hey guys, because I wanted to show you that tool where you can um, determine your the optimal book pricing for you. You're in good re in uh, Create Space here. Go to Books, Publish a Trade Paperback, and it'll bring you to this page here. It gives you a whole bunch of information, and it's a good idea to do some reading on this page because there's a lot of good stuff. Um, stuff that we'll get into in later lectures about uh, cover sizing and trim, interior trim, and this is, uh, I believe, where you find your template files. But anyway, if you go over here to the Royalties tab and scroll down, you can watch a little video there. Um, so will give you the Royalty Calculator and select your interior type full color with bleed. Bleed means that the illustrations may potentially go off the edge of the paper. You know, you want the, you want the the picture to cover the entire page and not have a white border around it. That's a bleed. Um, number of pages, like I said, we're either going to have 24 pages or 36 uh, or 32 pages, depending on your your book. You, you can have as many pages as you'd like. Those are um, kind of some optim optimal um, sizes for children's books. Uh, like I said, here you can choose any book size you want. Generally, children's books are um, I don't know, maybe in, in my experience anyway, uh, they're square. That's what I, uh, that's the size I make mine, 8.5 by 8.5, uh, 24 pages. It's one of my smaller books, and then I like to choose 9.97. And you can go higher, of course, if you want. You can go as low as, um, I think it was in the last lecture, we, we were told we could only go as low as $9.17 based on the size of our book and um, uh, the number of pages. So you go over here and you put in your price and you hit calculate and it tells you what you're gonna get for royalties right there and it tells you just like on the pricing page it tells you in pounds and euros as well. So you can bump this up say you want to do a 1497 book you make significantly more royalty five dollars per book even through the Amazon channel and eight dollars per book if you wanted to sell it through the e-store which again I can't recommend let's say we want it to go cheaper um, this is a negative number here the expanded distribution is a negative number we're still gonna get a, a royalty here through Amazon and through the e-store but it's not gonna let us sell that book through expanded distribution. We, can't, we won't be able to select those channels if we go lower. So we can uh, sell a book. Let me see how low we can go here. All right, 55 cent royalty on Amazon if I sell a book for $7. That's a pretty good deal. Here's another thing to consider. When you put a book on Amazon, Amazon has their own pricing structure. They, if, if you shop on Amazon, you'll notice that the retail price is generally slashed out and there's some other number below it which is what they actually sell the book for. They do that to all my books. You have no control over it as an author. <clears throat> it's, um, you know, like any store. If your book is in a store, they can put it on sale if they want to. You are still going to get the same commission, though, the same royalty. So if I sell my book like I do for $9.97 and my royalty rate is $2.33, Amazon may choose to, based on how popular the book is, uh, you know, what the demand is, if they're trying to... Uh, I don't know. They have tons of algorithms that they that they use to determine what sale price they they uh, price books at. But they may price my book, and they have priced my book at you know nine fifty, eight nine dollars, eight fifty. It, they've dropped this price down to almost eight dollars, uh, and I think sometimes seven seven dollars and change uh, from time to time. And that's completely up to them. They can do that if they want. Their create space is still going to pay you your two dollars and thirty three cents or whatever it is um, for your book so don't worry about that if you see that on Amazon um, don't worry and that is one reason where that I would not price my book any lower than ten dollars if you're trying to you know write a book that's really cost effective and you wanna uh, make it accessible to everyone you want to price it at seven dollars and you know only get a fifty five cent royalty you can do that uh, but just know that Amazon, it's very likely that Amazon is going to mark it down anyway, and it'll be, you know, an $8 book or a $9 book if it's, if you've priced it at $10. So just keep that in mind. And I hope this has helped.